To what extent is an editor aware, should be aware, of the sources of the information which make up the central stories featured in your newspaper each day, including the method by which information was obtained? And you say this. In terms of sourcing, we follow a minimum two-source policy at the FT as evidenced by the sourcing policy, which we can look at if necessary. This means that, as a general rule, every story should be dual-sourced, irrespective of whether our sources are on or off the record. Now, I can see see why you've, you've taken that decision. In practice, does that happen? You bet it happens. Okay, and how can you be how how can you be so sure? Because it's standard practice at the FT, and it has been for some time, and it was reaffirmed in the strongest terms when I took over as editor just over six years ago. Um, if I may just explain a little bit. If you rely on a single source for a story, you are leaving yourself open to manipulation. You are going, you leave yourself open to being um, misled and not understanding fully context. There's always another st side to a story. I sometimes uh, think about this in, in terms of an image of walking up a, a mountain. You, if you go on the single source, you've got up to the top of the mountain and you've got the most glorious view. You have this idea of a wonderful scoop the next morning. But then look down on the other side of the mountain. That's the risk. So you need to go for a second story. No story, however good it seems, if it comes from one source, is, is, is going to enter the, the uh, pages or on the online of the Financial Times. You need to have two sources. And even... Even if the, if the Prime Minister were to speak off the record to a journalist and give that journalist at the FT a big story, we would still check it, we'd still talk to other people to, to, to verify, to, to also put the story in its broader context. So, um, and when you say, is it followed at the FT, you know, every other week something comes up, a news editor on the desk says we've got a very interesting lead here, but we need a second source. It's ingrained. 